All right, guys, this is going to be my Five Nights at Freddy's uh, review. It's going to be a quick little reaction. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, not a lot of editing. Um, but yeah, so I watched the movie. Uh, it's been getting really bad reviews by critics. The fans seem to like it quite a bit. And uh, I'm someone who's never played the games. I don't really know that much about it. I know it's like, you know, the kids and the animatronics and it's all kind of weird and creepy and because it's a horror based game, right? And I thought that was interesting, but that's really all I knew about Five Nights at Freddy's. Like I literally knew nothing else. And I gotta say, I enjoyed the movie. It wasn't, you know, extremely good or anything, but um, I really liked the main character of Mike. Uh, played by Josh Hutcherson. I think he did a, a pretty good job. His backstory was really good. It was relatable. Uh, it really tied into the overall story too. And uh, yeah, I really liked him as a character. The cop played by, I don't know her name, but she played Guinevere Beck in the U series. Um, I thought she was all right. Uh, she it was just like a weird character, you know? She was a cop, but she's doing stuff that a cop shouldn't be doing. And then you kind of know where her character is going, I guess, after you see her for a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, I would say like a lot of it was predictable. The horror aspect was pretty good. I'm someone that doesn't really watch a lot of scary movies or anything along those lines. So something like this is kind of almost to the extent of what I like with horror movies. I know a lot of people are probably like, really? Like, that's it? But yeah, I'm not just, a, I'm just really not a big horror fan. Um, but I enjoyed the horror aspects of this movie. Uh, the animatronics are super creepy. Like I said, I've never played the games or anything. So this was my first experience with the, like, Freddy Fazbear and Foxy and Bonnie and Chica, all those animatronics, and they are creepy. Uh, it really reminds me of going to, like, Chuck E. Cheese as a little kid and thinking back, like, wow, that was weird as hell. You know, like, animatronic mouse singing and dancing while I'm eating crappy pizza, but... You know, the the story is really interesting to me. Like, I'm definitely going to go down a rabbit hole of learning about FNAF. Uh, I find it really interesting, really intriguing. So I'm definitely going to research a lot. And maybe I'll play a game. I don't know. Um, I probably will. I feel like a, a VR FNAF game, I'm sure it probably exists. But I feel like that would be a ton of fun and really creepy. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, movie was... It was decent, you know, it was decent. I wouldn't say it's terrible. I wouldn't say it's good. I would say, you know, like if you're a fan of it, I can totally see the fans really liking this thing. And then I think people like myself that haven't played the games as much won't really like it that much because a lot of things aren't explained. Um, if you're a fan, you'll probably know. But if you're someone that hasn't played the games, you're like, what the heck's going on? I think they would have really benefited from a flashback scene of the pizzeria in the 80s or 90s. I think it was the 80s. I think they would have really benefited from that. And, uh, you know, showing it in all of its glory and then its downfall. And then maybe the cops show up, start investigating uh, the, missing ch the missing kids. And then we see uh, Mike's character pop up. I think that would have worked a little bit better. Um, but we didn't get that, unfortunately. Um, what else can I say about it? There, so there was some comedy in it. I thought the comedy was actually pretty funny. Um, it, there was, it wasn't like a whole lot, but the, the bits of comedy in there I did enjoy. Um, another thing is there was a lot of plot lines that were just kind of set aside. They never got resolved, which kind of bugged me towards the end of the movie, especially with, um, I believe it's the aunt, Mike's aunt wants custody of his sister and then it never gets resolved um and something happens that you know something definitely should have happened as a repercussion but you know th that didn't happen um there was a lot of easter eggs uh i watched an easter egg breakdown that's how i knew because obviously like i said i didn't play so i wouldn't know what those easter eggs were where when i was watching the movie for the first time um but yeah like Overall, guys, it was fun. It was really interesting because it's something that I don't know that much about. So watching it for the first time, I was like, oh, like, that's that's cool. That's interesting. I want to learn more about that. And, um, 
you know, I think that's why I liked it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's solid. It's not amazing. It's not bad. I would probably rate this movie a six out of 10. I think if I was a big fan of it, maybe it would be like a seven, seven and a half. But for someone that knew pretty much nothing about FNAF before watching the movie, that's what I got out of it. A six out of 10 movie. And like I said, I'm going to go down the rabbit hole of learning a lot about FNAF and then maybe when I rewatch it in like a year or something I'll like it a little bit more but uh yeah it was really successful I believe it made about 140 million dollars in its opening weekend with a 20 million dollar budget so we are definitely getting more FNAF movies that is for sure and maybe by the time a FNAF 2 comes out I'll know a lot more about it because of you know playing the games and uh reading up about it and watching videos about FNAF and all that um so I think I'll probably like the second one a little more but the big thing is I think it should be rated R um I think the movie would have really benefited from that it would have made the vi the movie more interesting and you know the sense of danger would be there again because really like the animatronics have this big bloodbath moment but then after that, it's really not all that bad, I guess. I, I don't know. It was kind of it was kind of weird. I just wish it was rated R. I think it would have been a little bit better. Um, and they should definitely do a flashback scene in the second movie. And they definitely need to explain things more. Because I would say, you know, 50% of the audience maybe might not know anything about FNAF. So if you don't explain it to them, they're going to be really confused and not really engaged with the movie. Um... And there was, back to that uh, not explaining point, there was something to do with a drawing in this movie and I still don't understand what the heck happened. Someone draws something and then the animatronics are like good and it's like, but how? How did that happen? And I don't know. Just they needed to explain things more, take their time, you know, explain the lore a little bit better because not everyone's played the games and knows everything. Um, but yeah, let me know if you saw the movie, uh, down below in the comments, what did you think about it and what games or books or what should I read or play to know more about the lore of FNAF? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my quick little review slash reaction for Five Nights at Freddy's. Like I said, I did enjoy it. I just wish I enjoyed it more and I feel like I could have if I knew more about it beforehand. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.